Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I'm out here at Shooters of Vermeer Slaughter about to do the review. Yes, of something very special. As always, every time I do the review of a gun, it's something very special. And I think today it's special because it's the Firearms of Slovakia. Haven't yet reviewed the Firearms of Slovakia, so let's get into it. Today, I have Strybok SP9A1 Grand Power. Yes, check this thing out. And if you have been subscribed to this channel, you already know how much I love these little 9mm carbines. In fact, my main arm that I have is the Ruger PC Charger, chambered in 9mm and I have the Glock Magwell installed on it. This one is not the Glock Magwell, it has its own magazines right here. We'll talk about them later, but if you do want to swap the lower for a Glock, Magwell, that you can definitely do that. And if you wish to check out that PC Charger review, I have it posted. If I can have two, make sure to check out the latest one, not the old one, because the old one is pretty terrible. Okay, so let's talk about this Strybog right here. Check this thing out. We got eight inch barrel, plenty, plenty of barrel for to give you the maximum velocity for your nine millimeter round. With it's, it's threaded with your standard half inch by 28 threads or whatever I wanted to say optic but then I was like that nah, is <laughs> definitely not optic suppressor muzzle brake whatever it is you want to put on on the on this uh, threaded barrel it's, it's up to you but let's start from the very beginning and uh, do some shooting yes because obviously you gotta make sure it shoots and also I kind of really uh, am curious to see if this optic that is installed here, by the way, which is a six hour Romeo, as you can see, Romeo 5. And uh, it's uh, probably one of my favorite optics when it comes to budget, affordable optics, because I mean, if you, if you've ever been getting into the world of optics, that stuff can run pretty expensive. Yeah, so, excuse me. What am I doing wrong here? Huh. That's quite a tricky uh, magazine to load. So basically here, it's double stacked and because the uh, loading port itself is wide, you have to actually get it all the way to the well, it depends on which side you look at, <laughs> left, right, but all the way to the side to make sure the first round stays in there and then the second round obviously goes to another side. A little bit uh, interesting and a little bit of a tricky thing to load, but no big deal. Uh, you probably noticed I have two different magazines here, 30 capacity and 20 capacity. I'll try to shoot with uh, both of them, but let's see, we make uh, five rounds and now we're uh, 20 capacity magazine. Again, because of this, not the easiest magazine to load, a little bit tricky, but it is what it is. It's not the loading that matters, it's shooting that matters, well, the loading matters too. <laughs> okay, so as you guys can see, freshly painted target. Uh, I'm gonna try to hit this yellow circle in the very middle. All right, five rounds. Not too shabby. Where's the record? Not too shabby. Okay. All right, that is off. Let's turn it on. There we go. Okay. Let's hope it is zeroed well. Not too shabby. Zeroed a little bit high, but. Not a big deal, I'm gonna make an adjustment. So, let's start from the very beginning. Shoots, I mean, there is practically no recoil, and obviously makes sense. Eight inch barrel, plenty for the recoil management. Moving further, we got the grip. As you can see, very, very nice ergonomics. Feels uh, pretty aggressive, actually more aggressive than on my uh, PC charger, which I like quite a lot, because it bites into your hand and gives you a very, very nice, stable, hold obviously you notice the foldable brace not a stock brace all right yes see this is uh you can do it like this 
and you can I don't know however they do it with uh, yeah so this is not a stock I might be using it as a stock but it's a brace because it has a strap and it goes around something yeah but this one is actually very nice because as you can see this one has a button in order to fold it which if you compare it to um, the one that I have I, I, which one? Uh, SB Tactical, that's the one that I have on my uh, PC charger. Excellent brace as well, but that one is actually, you have to do that weird motion where you lift the brace up in order to fold it. So it's, it works, but this is much more intuitive, much easier with the button. I might be actually upgrading that. And uh, if you're curious, this brace here in, in this particular instance, just like on the PC charger, it is actually held by your standard 1913 Picatinny rail basically attachment. Speaking of the Picatinny rail, as you can see, plenty of the Picatinny rail on the top over here. You probably noticed these little flat things hanging around. What is that? Check this out. Yes, unlike my PC charger, this carbine actually already comes with the flip up sides, which is absolutely fantastic. But we will talk about the sides later. Actually, I want to do some more shooting. But this time I want to try the 30 capacity magazine. Why I want to try it? Why does it doesn't make a sense to try it because I'm still going to load five rounds? I don't know, but we'll still want to try to make sure it works because why not? And then after I'm done doing some more shooting, maybe next time I can do a little better group. We'll talk about some other features. Okay, so. Fairly easy to get the magazine in. Uh, can you do quick swap of the magazine? Yeah, absolutely. Except this might happen. And if you didn't notice what happened, the round just flew out. Now, normally you wouldn't do the swap of a magazine unless it's empty. So you shouldn't worry about it. But keep in mind, because of such a wide entry point on this magazine, the rounds, they're hanging kind of, uh, let's just say, on a thread. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's do the uh, orange on the top. This uh, orange right here. Yes. Okay. I love the racking mechanism on this. The lever is fantastic. Okay, so, man, I am loving this gun, it's awesome. Now, I uh, actually got a comment uh, probably a month ago from somebody uh, on one of, my, one, of the, one of the holster reviews that was from Slovakia. And the comment basically said that there's nothing good whenever it comes to firearms that comes out from Slovakia. Which is already kind of wrong because the holsters, they have to do with firearms and the holsters are fantastic. Craft holsters, Falco holsters, check them out. Quality Italian leather, they're made, handmade there in uh, Slovakia. In fact, two companies, they're owned by brothers apparently and according to them, there's absolutely no competition. Yeah, right, <laughs> there's no competition. But check this thing out, Strabo, it is actually fantastic and it is built in Slovakia. But let's get back to the gun and talk about the feature. So we have our mag release, which is actually ambidextrous. Fantastic, I love the ambidextrous stuff. Check this out. You have said <laughs> these magazines the look is weird, so you're kind of confused where's the front and where's the back. You have a release here on this side, if you prefer to do the, what is it, left hand? Left hand, yeah, left hand. A left right doesn't work. Or if you prefer to do this, you have a button on the other side as well. Pretty good, I really do like it. So whichever you're used to, you can implement it here. Another thing that I wanted to point out here is obviously you notice the, this is not a pistol grip by the way. No, it's not a pistol grip because it's diagonal. So because it's diagonal, you're good to go. Brace, diagonal, huh? yeah, makes no sense. But anyway, if you don't have this installed, you have an option to have <laughs> your grip over here, which works. Honestly, it's a little bit 
old school of a grip because now the newer school is to get your arm further out down the barrel so you have a little bit more of the control which helps you if you're doing the CQB. Uh, it's a little bit of an older style, keeping it closer, but still you can do it and I think it's great just to have that, you know, why not? If you can use it, there you go, you can use it. Of course you have your uh, M-lock attachments on the sides, on both sides, obviously on the bottom, that, that's how this thing is connected here. Picatinny rail on the top, so I mean, because I think that's really, really great that they did it. Because there's already built-in um, flip-up sights, there is really no real estate that has been taken from the Picatinny rail to implement these flip-up sights. So now you can have, I mean, you can have a whole bunch of stuff. You can have a flashlight on one side for the M-lock. You can have a magnifier for your red dot. And you're still gonna have plenty of other things. Yeah, IR laser, I don't know, whatever you want, whatever, whatever your imagination gives. But let's talk about the safety. There is a safety switch, and it is also ambidextrous, which is nice. I love the ambidextrous stuff. Check this out. So it's a very simple to switch, very intuitive, and I really do like it that it flips down in order to disconnect. So engaging the safety feels a little bit strange, but that's fine. What matters is how easy it is to disconnect. To disengage the safety because that's really what matters because if you have the safety engaged and you really need to be quick that's where it matters to be able to easily you know being able to disconnect the safety yes i said it like 10 times already but you <laughs> repetition is the mother of learning this is a russian saying i think it's an english saying too but yeah you get the point anyway so let's do some more shooting less talking more shooting that's definitely not the case on this channel, let me tell you that. But, while I'm loading this really strange magazine, honestly, if you're getting this thing, I love it. It's, it's great. I think I love olden 9mm carbines, it's just, it's just my thing. But, if you are getting it, I highly recommend upgrading the lower, <laughs> yeah, it's an upgrade, I think, uh, to a Glock Magwell, so that you can use Glock magazines with this Strybog Grand Power. Right. That's exactly how you have to say it, by the way. You, you can't say Strybog. You have to say Strybog. <laughs> because it's from Slovakia. Anyway, I'm being uh, foolish. And usually I'm very serious, so, yeah. <laughs> but, if you've never been on this channel, it's your first time, make sure to subscribe. Because, I mean, the videos suck, but the people who are subscribed to this channel are actually a great community. Trust me, just look through the comments. Well, this is a brand new video, so you might not get a lot of comments, but just look through the comments, man. The people are great. Okay, so. Yeah. I love the racket, and I'm gonna talk about it in a little bit. So, let's destroy a few of the flappy pedals. Let's see if I can hit them. Once I don't miss on any of those flappy pedals. Okay, so the racker you got on this side, and you're probably wondering, well, hmm, since everything is ambidextrous on this gun, can I interchange the racker? Yes, absolutely, you can, but I, I highly don't recommend it. And the reason why is because if you do have the racker sometimes, huh? So I think, I think. I was talking about the racker when somebody walked into the range. Thank you for ruining the <laughs> just kidding. You're always welcome to come to the range anytime you want. So, the racker, yes, I was telling why it's not a good idea to have the racker on the other side. It's kind of like the one on the scar, you know, the scar bite, if you, if you ever heard that expression. Basically, because you have your finger here, there is a chance that one day you just might grab it like this right behind the racker. And obviously when you're firing, this thing cycles and goes back. So yeah, unless you wanna be smashed by the racker over here, you probably don't want the racker on this side, unless you're left-handed. But it's still good to have the one that is switchable because if you are left-handed, everything is ambidextrous, you switch the racker on the other side and uh, there you go, good to go. So, 
Before I do, I think I already have four. I don't know why I have four, I'll put five. But before I get into my last firing session, let's talk about the trigger and also the sights. We kind of, kind of mentioned the sights, but I didn't show you. So let's start with the trigger. Actually, the trigger is very, very nice. I do like it quite a lot. As you can see, it is rounded, which I mean, some people prefer flat. Some people prefer rounded. I prefer rounded. Wait, what were we talking about? We were talking about the trigger. I actually prefer flat whenever it comes to triggers. Well, only whenever it comes to triggers though. <laughs> Check this out. So we have about What the Yeah, so you have this weird whatever don't pay attention to that pretend like it's not there and then you have <laughs> This you have and then This whatever that is and then so it is a kind of a crisp trigger, but there is a little bit of a hesitation. There are two stages of hesitation there. Not a big deal. You can definitely get adjusted to that. Overall, it's pretty decent. Let me mention the sights before I do some final shooting and then I'll let you guys go because you're like, man, when this freaking video is going to be over? So check this out. Uh, as you can see, pretty good sights. Steel sights, kind of hard to tell, but you do have a little peephole here at the, at the very back on the rear side. And on the front side, you do have a little white as you can see, there you go. So actually very, very good. Uh, the sights, if you are wondering, they do not, I repeat, they do not go with this with a red dot, which is not a big deal. In fact, I know, I know some people who prefer the sights not co-witnessing with a red dot at all. So it's, if it's up to you, it's up to you. But I'm sure if you find lower sitting red dot that sits like, closer um, to the Picatinny rail, kind of like the ones they put on the handguns and they do have the handgun um, red dots that are mountable on the Picatinny rail, it might actually work with the flip-up sights and it actually might go with us. But let's do some five more rounds onto the flippy pedals and then I'll let you guys go. If, I repeat, if, <laughs> if you're not aware if you have not been subscribed to this channel, this is the first video you're watching, you're probably thinking like, this is freaking terrible. It's okay, I understand, I, I don't argue with that. But there's actually an awesome giveaway that is happening right now. It's uh, for uh, Terran Tactical. Yes, AR9 from Terran Tactical. Check it out, actually, it's, uh, I've done a review uh, probably like a, a week ago. The video is uploaded. It's called John Wick's Next Gun or something like that. Yeah. Check it out, the link for the giveaway is right there. So, we got our uh, four rounds, five rounds into this. Honestly, I love this gun. I would say my only complaint is, is the magazines. The magazines are a little bit awkward. I don't like the fact that there is a chance for you that your round flies out whenever you're loading it. I like it to be very straightforward, very easy, so that you don't really need to concentrate and be like, mm, okay, <laughs> it has to be easy, it has to be fast. Because, you know, if you're in a tactical situation and you do need to load the magazine and text, you obviously you can imagine how stressful it can be and you don't want to mess around with that stuff. Anyway, let's, uh, uh -huh. let's do some flippy pedals because why not? Yeah, you can't miss with a good with nicely uh, zeroed red dot immigrant here, okay? So don't, don't pay attention. Sometimes I take time to look for words. But thank you very much, guys, for sticking around through the whole video. If you did, if you didn't, man, why you gotta do me like that? Nah, just kidding. If you didn't, well, you're not even, you don't even know that I'm saying that, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Make sure next time to stick around. But then again, you don't know if you're Anyway, thank you very much for sticking around for those who did stick around uh, Overall, like I said, I absolutely love this gun. The only thing I would recommend if you are getting it Better lower <laughs> not, not the better lower, but the lower that accepts black magazines. I think that would be a fantastic upgrade for this Thank you very much guys for watching always appreciate your time If you didn't subscribe to the channel just yet make sure you do because more reviews are coming this way more giveaways are coming this way More stuff is coming this way. Thank you very much guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next video.